My intellect is without limit. Thanks back, Schoolface MTG. So in case you don't know, Hand Disruption is one of my favorite archetypes to play. I did a Luca build with Hand Disruption a few weeks back, um, running all the adventure cards like Bone Crusher and Murderous Rider and a bunch of Hand Disruption spells. But now we got Core 2021 Liliana. So I definitely want to go back and revisit the Hand Disruption archetype and do a completely fresh build with it and feature Liliana in it. So that's what this deck is all about. This deck is very strong against pretty much everything that's going on in the meta except aggro that manages to get out super fast and you can't deal with it fast enough. But against like reclamation strategies or Ugin strategies, any, any type of long game strategy or mid range strategy, this deck is going to be really good against. Like I said, your opponent doesn't matter what they're trying to do if they don't have cards in their hand. So this deck is very efficient at running your opponent down to just being in top deck mode. And once they get in that mode, you should be able to pull off the win because we have a lot of different ways of just doing incremental damage that adds up to our opponent dying really fast. So let's get into the deck. So I got two duress uh, for early game hand disruption and, you know, being able to turn run duress a person and see what it is their plan makes a world of a difference so we can sequence our plays and know exactly what it is that we want to be doing. Or agonizing remorse this is like the best hand disruption card in in the game right now to me because um a lot of times this card may not be good enough because there's a lot of recursive strategies out there so this exiling whatever it is that you target makes a world of a difference sometimes for yorox fin lurker uh basically the same deal as agonizing remorse but attached to a body um which becomes relevant because a lot of times we're not running a whole lot of creatures in this deck so um, the ability for Finn Lurker to, to be able to pump himself and be a body to block and protect our Planeswalkers and us when, when need to be, um, it, it makes a world of a difference. So this is basically like having four copies of Agonizing Remorse, but except with, with Finn Lurker, we don't get to choose what it is they exile, the opponent gets to choose, but still they're getting rid of a card that they can't, they can't get back. So still, still great. Four Angrass Rampage, pretty much. Anything outside of enchantments, um, we, we, can, we can deal with with this. This card, Angra's Rampage, ends up being a lot better than what a lot of people may think in this deck. Because if we're, if we're hand disrupting, if we're disrupting our opponent's hand, they're not going to be able to play lots of things out onto the field a lot of times. So a lot of times they'll just be sitting there with one thing and then this will have no problem getting rid of it. Three Croxa. Croxa is definitely a finisher in this deck. Uh, we put cards in the graveyard pretty efficiently, so we have no problem getting Croxa back. And uh, Croxa out with uh, Liliana is just, it's devastating. Even if you get Liliana's ultimate off, if you have multiple Croxas in the graveyard, you can have one in the play, and then Liliana's, um, her, her emblem will start recurring a Croxa back from the grave, doing an additional three and discard every turn, on top of the Croxa that you already have in play. So, it's pretty sweet. Uh, two Davriel. Um, I did. I was running three Davriel, but I cut it down to two. Um, Davriel is great when you get him out, especially early game. Um, but drawn into him later in the game sometimes feels bad. Um, unless your opponent is down to like you know low life total, and then Davriel can go ahead and finish him off. Um, if they don't have cards in their hand, of course. But uh, yeah, only only two copies, but he does feel good in the deck. I just don't want to see it all the time. Three Elspeth Nightmare. If I was gonna go up to Four copies on anything that isn't already at four copies in this deck, it would probably be Elspeth's Nightmare because it just does so much in the current meta right now. That ability to kill something with power two or less is very relevant right now and uh current standard. So don't sleep on that. And then a lot of times when you play this on turn three, it kills something, then the next turn you get to take something out of their hand on top of whatever hand disruption. You're going to play naturally from your hand anyway. So you're taking two things out of their hand a lot of times if you play this. So pretty good. Three Murderous Rider, because of course we need this. Everybody knows we need Murderous Rider. Two Liliana. I love, 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 love Liliana in this deck. Um, I'm only running the two copies because you don't you don't want to be drawing a whole lot of her. But when you, you do get her and you do get her out on the field, she can start to feel very oppressive uh, for your opponent because she will keep them in top deck mode. Like I said, having her out with the Croxa out is, is devastating. Your opponent will never keep cards in their hand. So I really love her in this deck. She's an all-star. Ritual Soot, 
not as good as it used to be, but still puts in work now. I chose this over E2 Extinction because I just hate the mismatching of sometimes they have a mixed match of odd, odd and even creatures and I need everything to go, you know. So uh, we're not really too worried about larger things being out on the field and not being able to take care of it because in standard in current standard right now, a lot of creatures are going to be three, three mana costs or less, very low to the ground, um, aggro mid range style decks. Plus, I've been playing this in best of uh, best of one. So, yeah, I think that has a lot to do with it, too. But yeah, ritual is still good, especially with um, with, we, we like we're running Elspeth Nightmare. So it exiles the graveyard anyway. So we're not as worried about um, them being able to recur everything from the graveyard with uh, when we ritual soot all this stuff away. So. So, yeah, we got that working for us. Uh, Mask of Girl, just another form of, of board wipe and a body on the field to be able to go ahead and attack our opponent's life total. Mask of Girl, also very good, especially in best of one. Best of one is just riddled with aggro style strategies. Um, every now and then you do run into like the Simic, Ramp, Ugin style decks, but those decks we just crush because we just take everything out of the hand. Um, the aggro style decks, though, especially the ones that have the ability to re recur stuff from the grave or recover very easily. We need multiple ways of being able to board wipe. So Masked Girl, she's great for that. Uh, two Liliana Dreadheart General, she's still good. Minus four is always on point, um, especially if we get to the point of when we get to six mana and our opponent does manage to get something on the board that we haven't cleared or that we haven't taken out of their hand, uh, she definitely comes in and she just wipes out whatever they have on the board with her minus four. Um, and then, of course, by the time we get to six mana, we usually don't have any cards in our hand. So her ability to be able to generate zombies to pressure our opponent's life total. And as long as she's on the field, when our stuff dies, we get to draw cards is always great for us. So Dreadheart General is, is definitely good here. And then I'm running how many lands? Uh, 25 lands. Just making sure. Uh, three Castle Lockwain, eight Swamp, seven Mountain, four Blood Crypt and three Temple of Malice. Only been running this in best of one. I am going to go ahead and do some runs with it in best of three and put together a sideboard for it. Um, just don't have one together for it right now because I've just been playing this in best of one. I haven't really been playing rank much because after the whole fires and got banned, um, I just have not been wanting to play rank because everybody was has been on the reclamation train and I just don't want to deal with reclamation right now in rank. So I have not played much rank. Um, this whole season I played it sporadically, but not seriously not trying to rank up. So um, I'm currently still sitting in platinum on this account But I, I think now with the release of 21 I am going to go ahead and play some rank now when the season resets and I'll go ahead and it'll suck because I'll have to start back um, down by gold, but um, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll breeze through that with no problems and uh, Go ahead and make my way back into the uh, mythic ranks, but Yeah, if you want something to rank up with I definitely recommend this, especially in best of one. Um, I'm going to run it in best of one for a while, and then I'm going to run it in best of three after I put together a sideboard for it. And uh, I'm just going to rank up with this. This, I mean, I feel like this is the best option um, as far as for my play style. If you'd like to be able to shut down your opponent's strategy like I do, I mean, my name is Stacks. I like to shut people down. Um, so if that's the way you like to play, then this is definitely a deck for you because you have a, a universal, uh, you have universal answers. To anything your opponent can be playing, which is taking it out of their hand. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the action. I'm ready for this Liliana beatdown. Palindrome. Sounds like the name of like a, some kind of space robot or something. Let's go ahead and make Palindrome discard something here. Guess he didn't need that land. Does that mean you have too many lands in your hand? Does that, does that mean you're land flooded? If he scries stuff to the bottom, he's probably land flooded. Alright, let's get rid of your prince here. Don't need the handsome guy hanging around stealing all the ladies. See? What is this? He's a lady. 
Uh, get rid of this doubling your your life total stuff here. Don't need none of that. Uh, keep that there. Make you sack your lady. You don't you don't need her. She looks like she'll uh she'll get into trouble. Hanging out by herself, unsupervised without the prince. Make sure she stays gone. <laughs> Ready. Let's do this. Oh. Speak of the heavens. Uh, I like Speak of the Heavens. This a, is this an angel deck? Must be. The speaker's speaking to me. He's saying it's he's saying you're playing angels. You go ahead and make you sack him. I don't I don't need his speeches right now. They're not very motivational. Nibio. You wanna play Angel? Of some kind? Yes? No? Oh. Angel Vitality? Alright. Let me uh let me take away her vitality. Your angel vitality has no vitality now. <laughs> oh, another one. Uh, well, you don't need that. What is this? Vampire. All right. Go ahead and get rid of this angel. So it's not a completely a complete angel deck. It's got ghouls. Silver, silver smoke ghouls. Alright, you got, a, you got a second one in your hand. Alright, this is a weird deck. Um, go ahead and make you exile that last one in your hand. And uh, make you sack this one. But he can, he's got two mana open, he can draw a card off of it, but I'd rather it not be there. What is, what is, what is going on here? What is, <laughs> alright, uh, that's a total, total draft card, but let's go ahead and kill it. Alright, swing for one. Nibio, you got nothing. Oh, two lands. <laughs> Go ahead and get Lily down now. Uh, I'll discard my Proxa. You can discard one of your lands. Take one. Oh, it's a nice top deck. Well, now you have no hand. So, guess I can go ahead and get Crooks into play now. Yeah. Exile. Well, that was a waste. Are you gonna deal with? Are you gonna deal with the the Elder Giant? The Elder Giant, beaten face. He can't save you. <laughs> Go ahead, Mickey, sack him. <laughs> Frank up. Ready. Keep. Go first. Matt Hark, 94. Thank you for allowing me to go first. Oh, you had no say so in the matter? I understand. I'll keep that there. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Rakdos. Go ahead and discard something. What you got?
Oh, Lily. Is this a mirror match? Mirror match of some kind? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get the tap land down. I'm even paying for that. Are you gonna play something? Matt Hog? This appears to be a mirror match, so, um, well, hold on. Let me go ahead and play Elspeth Nightmare now, even though I have nothing to kill, but I want to I wanna get see what's in his hand, potentially take something out of his hand. Plus, he hasn't played anything in the first three turns, so it's likely he won't be playing something that Elspeth, uh, Elspeth Nightmare can kill anyway, the longer the game goes on, so... All right, are you uh, are you debating on what you want to get out of your hand so that I can't take it? You you, you can't use one of your kill spells. You have nothing to kill. Decisions, make a decision. All right, I couldn't take that anyway. But all right, get your heartless act out of here. We don't we don't like people being heartless. Um, I need to get rid of this giant. I'm just going to use the soot. Because he is playing Lily, so if he gets up to a, a Lily, I'll need the Angraph to get rid of Lily. Want to play your Murder Rider? No. I'm going to play your, another giant. Alright. Won't be bringing any back, anything back from the grave. Um, no, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the second suit. Use the second suit. No, no need in holding on to it. Yes, fetch your land. Can't help you. All you have is a land and a, and a murder rider. Threat probability from Mayhark, zero. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play out murders right. Uh, excuse me, Master Girl. Maybe that'll entice him to use his murderous rider. I'd rather him kill Master Girl than Liliana. He's playing Jun. I just realized he played a forest. All right, just swing you at my Master Girl. Take four. You gonna wait till the end of my turn to kill it? That's such a stacks play. That's what I would do. All right. Cost you six life though. All right. Basically, he just wanted to wait and see if I played anything else that was gonna be a bigger threat than Mask of Girls. So he he ate the four. Did I have Murderous Rider? You're a Murderous Rider. No. Um. Well. I think, I, I think I'll just use Lily. And uh. Minus and kill his Murderous Rider. I, I think I, I like that play better. So I'll go with that. So that way. If he does play anything. To try to threaten Lily. Um. I have Murderous Rider. And Angrath Rampage to kill it and make him discard a card with Lily. So, yeah, I think that is the most efficient lines of play. But you played nothing, so now you have to discard. You got lands? Yeah. Here's this though. Let's make you discard your last, last land. Oh, Elder Gargaroth. It's land screwed. Oh, that sucks. Yes, I had fun. Oh, I'm going first again. The algorithm must like my deck. Go ahead and see where the... Alright. 
adventures. Dripping mana. Playing some adventures. Gonna be going on some adventures. Go ahead and uh, get rid of your Reaper. Minimize your card draw. Got something for him. Send him into a nightmare. He's dripping. Dripping with nightmares. <laughs> oh. She got dripping. You're going to drip something onto the field? All right. All right. Nothing for me to take. Well. Go ahead and, uh, what am I doing? Gotta play my land. Play Lily. I'll just go. Every death is an opportunity to increase my influence. Make you drip something into that graveyard. <laughs> I really don't care about <clears throat> your plans. Uh-oh. Edge wall keep innkeeper. Never cross oh man, that's a problem. That innkeeper is a problem. Um, all right, exile something. Man, dripping mana. He's gonna get the card advantage on me here. No. This is a problem. Alright. Alright, Castle Lockwing is an extremely good pickup. Alright, get your, your clover out of here. Make you discard your last card. I was bored anyway. I'm sorry, Lily. I have to exile you for the greater good. All right, all right, dripping mana. Man, the Edwall Innkeeper is so clutch right now. Still gotta, still gotta deal with my. He can gang block my Croaks and kill it, but it loses board. Except for his Innkeeper. Oh well, never mind. Well, I'd say I'm in trouble here. I'm very much in trouble here. Go ahead and draw a card. <clears throat> um, I don't think I can attack. I just just chill on uh, blocking duty. Dripping manas. He's dripping. With the pressure here. Uh, I'm just going to take it. I know he's going to buff it. I'm just going to take the four. Keep him from advancing the four state any more than what it already is. At least. Oh man, my dog. My dog is sad. Another innkeeper. Um, I could just play the rider. But... I think to dig more cards is the better play because I need all right let me go ahead and play this I need to draw into a ritual suit that that is that is the game equalizer here all right well uh all out swing all right uh well Spin Lurker blocks this. Brokes of a block. I don't care about blocking the innkeepers. He's already got two of them, so. Alright. Down to one. Oh, man. Another one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Let me let me gather myself here. Uh, let me go ahead and swing in with my Croxa. 
All right, you going? You gonna block? <laughs> All right, go ahead and clear the board. <laughs> uh, is there anything that he can do to kill me at one life? Uh, I don't think so. All right, let me go ahead and play this out. All right. Struggling. <laughs> struggling. You heard that, Rio? Are you struggling now? <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and swing in, gain some life. Get off the eggshells here. All right. All I've left you is pain. That's right. Me and Dabriel bringing the pain right now. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, how does it feel? Oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna kill that. I'll go back down to one. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Back up to three. Man, I'm too high for this. I'm too high for this. Climbing back from one life. Yes, good game. <laughs> Get out of here, man! Ah! <laughs> I love being on the play with this deck. It makes so much of a difference sometimes, especially when I'm going against players called Easy Prey. Easy Prey, huh? All right, let's see what you plan, Easy Prey. Cycling. Alright. Uh, let's get your Stalin development out of here. Your Lurus of the Dream Den. Cycling. I don't think this uh I don't think this match is gonna go the way you would hope. You're you're gonna find that you're easy prey for me. Easy prey. <laughs> oh, all right, let's make you uh get this down tap. Make you sack him. I want you getting no tokens. Uh cycling decks. This cycling deck is like I think I'm 100% win rate win rate against cycling decks with this. So Even before I added Lily. All right. Go ahead and kill you guys. Yeah, hand disruption is just like it's nearly impossible for a cycling to, to overcome. <laughs> Come on, easy prey. I'm not I'm not turning out to be such easy prey to you, huh? Can't save you. Can't save you either. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and mask a girl. Slicing. Freddy Cougar fingers. Looks like she could be Freddy Cougar's daughter. And you play your your lures. Oh, you have you have to pay three to get it to your hand first, huh? That change. Change is lovely. Everyone should embrace change. Change is a good thing. Take three. Or uh, four. Of course you will. You don't have any you don't have any say so's about it. Come on, easy prey. I'm supposed to be uh I'm supposed to be a morsel. Easy prey is morsel. Alright. Go ahead and play something. Give me priority back. So I can kill your lures. Come on. Come on. Play something. Are you afraid to give me priority? Is that what's happening here? Alright. Thank you. Kiss your lures goodbye. <laughs> Alright, 
go ahead and anger at him. I refuse to let you get tokens. Tokens would be bad for me. And uh, get damage on board. Man, you're turning out to be such easy prey. Your name suits you. You got anything? You gonna uh, flare me? <laughs> Man, like what is this? I've never went first with a deck so many times. I think maybe I should put in a ticket to Wizards and say, hey, something's wrong. Your algorithm is off or something. It's, it's picking me to go first too many times. But you know what it is? It's because I spent money. That's what it is, guys. I spent money on, on Core 21. Let's see what you got. Bastion. Oh, let's get rid of Bastion. But yeah, I, I spent money. Because I wanted to open, like, I wanted to get all of the rares and stuff from this core set. So I, I spent money on, like, 200 packs on Arena. So, I'm being rewarded now to go first in every game. This is proof. All you have to do is spend money. See, I, I, I proofed it. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, I needed a land. Get rid of that. Um. Alright, can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. E.W. Pedro. Can't do anything. Pedro. Oh, man. Need to land. Alright, I think, uh... I think the algorithm is switching on me now. It's punishing me. It's like, wait a minute. Stax has been first too many times. It's time to mana screw him. Take that back, guys. Don't, don't go spend a bunch of money. All right, well, he doesn't have mana problems. Can I have one of those swamps, please? Give one of those to me. Just fling it on over here. I won't tell anybody. All right. Oh my gosh. Uh. Yeah, I'm being severely punished now. Algorithm is... It is finally on to me. Dang, I've been too generous. Allowing him to go first too many times. I want a refund. I want all my money back now. I'm not receiving the promises of a preferential gameplay for spending money. You gonna, you gonna sack something? You gonna do? You already got me down to seven. You, you, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> All right. Opponent is going in the. Yeah, he's he's in the win more mode now. Gonna. Uh... All right. Well, I can clear the board. I don't think this is gonna be a one life comeback game though. All he has to do is play cat some kind of way and not die. Yeah, yeah, good game. Cheeky. Cheeky win with the mana screw. Gotta love it. I swear the algorithm loves this deck. As many times as it's letting me go first today. I've never went first this many times. Entangled. I love seeing people's unique screen names. Let's see what you're playing. Oh. Oh. Another adventure deck. See, is this going to be as epic as the the last one? Alright. Got three question beasts. The mask is scary, but underneath, empty what was that? What was the, the name of the person from the first adventure deck I played today? Dripping. Dripping mana, I think it was. Entangles here to avenge, avenge, uh, dripping mana. Um, let's make you, 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, got two question bees. So let me see if he discards one, and if he discards one, then I can agonize and remorse the other one out of his hand. All right, that's good. Go ahead and get the other one. Oh wait, no. I take the <laughs> take the take the innkeeper. <laughs> All right, you gonna have a you gonna have your question beast. Can't even play it though. I don't have enough green. All right. Uh. Well, let's go ahead and I think we'll make him discard that uh that question beast. Do I wanna think in here? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make him discard it because if he if he plays it out and attacks me, then Davriel's dead anyway. So might as well make him discard it. And uh, let me ritual soot his questing beast. Man, I think I, I think I smoked too much of that that sativa I got in there. Making these decisions are getting to be a little difficult. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and switch your borrow. Entangled. You're entangled in my my web of misery. My hand disruption. Tangled web. All right. Go ahead and play Finn Lurker. you got you're gonna get the top deck of the century oh oh man yeah that that definitely is a top deck of the century let me get rid of that ASAP terror has to go oh guys I do have a a terror of the peaks deck of my own I'm going to display dealing with you all right go ahead and let Dabriel beat you up yeah, you already said loneliness can hurt. The giant's all alone. He's going to be hurt. I'm a murderous rider. <laughs> murderous rider. Stabbing him. Davriel, shooting you. Davriel's got those hollow tips. Oh. Says his giant has hollow tips too. All right, go ahead and uh, let me on the kill the the giant. <laughs> Ruining your day <laughs> is going to be. I just let my planeswalkers beat you up now. Ooh, sorry. They know I'm a nice guy. I don't want to have to beat you up, so I'll just let them beat you up. Uh oh, love struck beast. Alright, well, I'm sure he'll sock the token, but that's fine, because the beast won't be able to attack. Token? You can sack the beast if you want. <laughs> I'd much rather if you did. Alright. Take three damage. We're doing things my way. Yes. We're following the Lily Protocol. I think Lily and Davriel's gonna just end up killing him. Got some? Oh. Got that hollow tip. That that stone that bone crusher hollow tip. <laughs> Alright. Um go ahead and get this down. So I can block. So unless he draws his last questing beast. Or another love struck beast. He'll be dead here. That's not gonna get it, sir. It's okay, dog. No need to cry. I, I still have this under control. Alright. Yeah, so Dabriel's gonna smack him for two more. 
He won't be able to attack in the dead rib unless he draws another beast or uh, his last last questing beast. If he is running four, I don't even know if he's running four. Yep, got him. That's how you do it. You strip them of all of the cards. Do not allow them to play anything. Make them sad robot face. Make them cry for mercy to Liliana. She's my empress. <laughs> no, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm now up to over a thousand subs. I appreciate everybody. Thank all of you. I would not be in the position I'm in without all of you. Um, I'm eternally grateful, eternally humble, all that good stuff. Um, now being up over a thousand subs, I will start doing some paper giveaways. You know, I have been doing um, mostly just uh, arena code giveaways, but I'm going to start selecting some of my subscribers to receive like some nifty fall cards or some random things, you know, here and there. And when you, when you receive something from me, you'll get it in this, uh, this nifty scoop phase sleeve right here. And I'll, I'll, I'll sign the sleeve and you can have some uh, nice stacks memorabilia, uh, you know, from me and to represent the channel. Um, but yeah, I definitely appreciate everybody for, for helping scoop phase to grow to the point that it's gotten to. Um, and please continue to help the channel grow. Um, help the scoop phase mania grow. Um, I will be selecting somebody uh, probably uh, probably next weekend. Next weekend when I do my next video drop, I'm going to select somebody to receive a, a draft box um, giveaway um, during my, my next weekend video. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, if anybody has any deck recommendations or deck ideas they want to see played, um, since the release of Core 2021, let me know because um, I pretty much have <laughs> every card from the set now. Um, I've been cracking. I've cracked over 300 packs uh, now and done draft and done sealed. So I pretty much, I think I've, I'm, I'm very close to having a full set now. Whatever I don't have, I can just craft. So you got anything you want to see, just let me know. I'll be happy to throw it together, play, play some games with it. And if I get some good gameplay with it, I will definitely feature it on the channel. So again, thank you, everybody, and I will see you all next time.